I when I went to the Hondas in 2007, I just saw like how much the engines, you know, were much better made. They took power a lot better. You know, power mods a lot better. It's just. I mean, you're starting a war right now. I know. I'm comments, sorry. I love Subarus, but. And he's like, oh, this is my daily. <laughs> and this is his daily. Yeah. He's got an ISF. Yeah. And he dailies this crazy thing. Yeah. Jesus. Damn. Jeez, it's got a lot, <laughs> a lot more power than it does sway bar. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to a very noisy, buzzy, what a strange machine this is. Uh, it is not your machine, but you built it. This is yep. a manual. Manual runs uh, with New Age Performance. Yep. Um, based here in, in Southern California. You build very, very fast Hondas, right? Yeah. We, we filmed two of your cars now. This kit honestly changed my mind about this car. <laughs> and uh, this one, this is a really interesting, weird Frankenstein to me. But real quick, tell the people what you do, what you guys do at your shop. So we focus on this generation, also the new generation, the 11th gen. Uh, but we, we build engines uh, top to bottom and we build transmissions. And, you know, we basically do everything that what's needed to go fast in these things. You guys yeah. had the record, you, you said at one point, for which Oh, class? for the Civic Type R, it, it was a 10-1. I forgot that's the mile per hour. Very fast. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, front wheel drive. That's running yeah. with. To put in context of a modern car, that's almost Porsche Turbo S. Yeah. Hyper, you know, supercar speeds. I got an email from uh, the owner of this car. His name is Nathan, mm -hmm. who has is a customer of yours, and he said, "Oh, I've got this 10th gen Civic, and uh, it's got 450 ish wheel yeah. horsepower." And I looked at the email and I went, "Well, it doesn't say SI. It doesn't say Type R." Yeah. And then I went and looked at the specs of a regular Civic and what power that makes with the 1.5. It's like 178 horsepower. Mm -hmm. And I could look back and forth. I went, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and then he got yeah. here this morning and he kind of told the story, yeah. which I think is really entertaining. So what, what was the first iteration of this car? Folks, today's video is brought to you by BetterHelp. And I really appreciate them sponsoring this video. You know, the importance of talk therapy cannot be overstated. In fact, as soon as I finish shooting this ad, I have to go in my office and do therapy for an hour. I do it every week. I've been doing it for like 10 years. And as I've talked about on the Smoke Entire podcast, I suffer from anxiety, uh, body issues, all kinds of stuff. It doesn't matter if you're successful, if you're rich or anything like that. If you're good looking, you can still have issues and talking them out with a therapist is very, very important. And BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service. It's 100% online. And with BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. No matter what they are, you can find a therapist that knows about it. To get started, all you do is log on and answer a few questions about your needs and preferences for therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, uh, chat, phone, or video call. Talk. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. So if you're a busy person, you can work around your schedule. And if it's not working out with that therapist, if they're not the right one for you, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same level of professionalism and quality that you get from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who's custom-picked for you, scheduling flexibility, and a more affordable price. In fact, I went from in-office therapy to video chat therapy at the start of the pandemic, and I've never gone back. It really is the same thing, except I save time in commuting. Check it out for yourself and get 10% off your first month with our link at betterhelp.com slash smoking tire. That's betterhelp.com slash smoking tire. And thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Um, so he just, uh, you know, he found me online and he brought it over. He wanted to do all the bolt-ons and we did that for him. And he did uh, what basically most people do with these cars is an ethanol kit. 
so where you could run like up to 30 percent and he was happy with that he left and i got a call i think a day later he's like hey car smoking like crazy you know i'm like uh i don't know maybe you blew the turbo and he brought it he actually drove it to the shop with a bent rod and um it, <laughs> it, it was still running fine but literally when i pulled a, the rod out of the motor it it, it was shaped like a oh my it had god a curve in it <laughs> and he had it for one day uh yeah right with, with all those mods yeah okay yeah. so what what did he do in the time from when it left your shop to when he had to bring it back um I don't know. I think he was just having fun with it. Okay. Yeah. Because because we talked about it outside yeah. the car, but like yeah. it's not that you built a bad engine. We yeah. were talking about. Oh this. no! This is the stock engine. This is the stock yeah. 1.5 liter yeah. engine, and they were making uh, 250 wheel horsepower with the yeah. stock engine. Yeah. And as we've talked about before, in um, reference Which, to Steve Dynan and stuff, like if you want to make the max power, yeah. you will not be able to make that for very long. Mm -hmm. Right. Wait, which this is a so this is a base model. So the engine. The rods are, are a lot weaker on this engine from the get-go, even though the engine looks the same. Yeah, but Compared the, to the SI, yeah, right? Compared to the SI, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so now, what what did you do after that to transform this car into what it is today, which is a 450-wheel horsepower yeah. crazy hatchback? So after that, you know, um, he went through a few phases. We built him a motor. Um, at the time, there was very scarce parts available, so he had, like, custom rods, you know, custom pistons and... You know, he was one of the first ones to have an actual built engine on on, on the, this platform. He had a built engine before I did. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he did a slightly larger turbo, I think from 271. And, you know, he had a tune and, and ethanol. And he was happy with it. He drove it for, I think, like maybe a year, year and a half. And then, um, yeah, this, the engine on that one started making some noise. He, he drove it very hard. He, he's kind of a private dude like on his Instagram you won't see anything like and nobody knows about this car either wow yeah like it's that, very stealth yeah I mean, it's that, basic that, white that, civic hatch that's why I told him I was like hey you should uh you know hit up Zach see if you know he'll want to have a go at this because it's kind of a shame like this car what it is and it nobody knows about it it's such a sleeper <laughs> and we were saying yeah. outside the car you said if you put the right tires on this thing, it would run, you say 10s in the quarter? Or it maybe could, like 11s? maybe low 11s. Low 11s. I would say low 11s. I yeah. mean, and this looks like an Uber special oh, with yeah. wheels. I mean, if, if you, it has aftermarket brakes, HPD brakes, which mm -hmm. th that that's a hint. Mm -hmm. And then the wheels and tires, it's running 265 square stands. Like, that's mm -hmm. another hint. So after that, he was like, ah, I'm not happy with the power. We built him another engine, this time with all proven, you know, production parts and... Um, and then we we did the valve train, we did a much larger turbo, and and we did a Motec ECU. So this is basically a fully built. Would you say this is about as close as you can get to the top of what's possible with the 1.5, like with the oh, block? Yeah. yeah. And you have an SI transmission now as with, well, right? With PPG gears and a 2020 SI final drive. Okay. Yeah. So everything's been strengthened. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to take this crazy thing for a ride. This is such a weird Jekyll and Hyde car, and we'll talk more about suspension and yep. brakes. All right. Okay, right away, you definitely notice turbo sound. Ooh, and the whoosh. Yeah. And then you can hear the gears. You can definitely hear the gears. Um, he has Swift Springs on this, really basic suspension mods. I, do you remember if he did sway bars or not? No. No sway no, bars. No so these are the bars. stock sway bars, yeah. which are were, very, very small compared to SI. <laughs> This is, this is, I feel like I'm driving a trophy truck that just someone put street tires on, but it's like if they turned a Civic SI into that, we've got, we've got no sway bar, yeah. all the power in the world. What a weird idea. It's, well, it's a good thing, uh, you know, the 10th gen chassis was stronger and lighter than the one before it. They had different suspension system. My favorite thing though is that the steering rack was uh, thickened and then quicker by almost a full turn lock to lock. Little rocks here, it goes way down to the bottom. But because the ninth gen, it was three turns lock to lock, which is like, yeah. a, that's like a school bus. I mean, no wonder you're more into drag racing. Wow, a four, <laughs> a four C. Um, you know, it's not fun to turn if you have to turn that many times. So this thing has big sticky tires and all the power in the world. Well, oh yeah, torque steer. A little bit of torque steer. <laughs> Jeez, even with, I don't know, what was that? 10 degrees of, of angle in the steering and it was just pulled right to that way. Brakes are good, thankfully. The front brakes look aftermarket. The rear brakes look stock. 
Yeah, the rear brakes are stock. Rear brakes are stock. We don't need those. Those don't do anything. <laughs> I think it snowed here a few days ago. And the road will open up soon, and then we can see what this power is all about. I definitely want to get used to it first. But, it's, I mean, so far, you can feel the suspension's a little stiffer. I mean, it, it corners fairly flat, especially for something that has sway bars and probably as thick as my, my uh, pinky finger. Turn-in's okay. 265 square, that's a lot of tire on a car yeah. this small. I think it weighs like, what, 3,300 pounds? Uh, yeah. Maybe less? No, I think it's 29 or 2,800. 2,850, I think. Wow, okay. Because the SI, I think, is like 32. No, that's 2,900. That's 2,900 yeah. also? All oh, right. That's like 2,900. I got that info. And this has no sunroof, and as you said, the, the car is actually smaller physically mm -hmm. than uh, than the coupe or the, um, the sedan. Motec gauges. Jeez, what does this thing ref to? Like uh, 78? Yeah, 78. All right. What should I shift at? 78's fine. It is? Yeah. Okay. I don't want I don't want to drive like <laughs> Nate. I feel like Nate <laughs> Nate really likes to push the limit. All right, let's go down to third here. Boost at five. And then it starts to run. <laughs> Man, that yeah, it gets really exciting above six. And it starts to pull super hard. So even second gear is good because it's got traction control. Well, it's got performance traction control. Okay, so that's good. We'll try that over here. Yeah. It doesn't kill the fun. Let's see. Here we go. Shifter is very nice. Of course it is. It's a Honda, Honda SI. <laughs> Wheel spin. Get lag. Pull. <laughs> Wonderful sounds. And the whole turbo system in the front looks... It looks the business. It's yeah. not like hidden in the back. <laughs> you know, you open the hood and there's this manifold heat shield and uh, I mean the biggest like electronic wastegate spring I've ever been able to put my eyes on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is really not bad. It's really smooth. I, you know, like, I, it's been so long since you worked on this car you forgot yeah, what it's, it's like. It's been about six months or something like that. <laughs> when, we, when we were getting ready, you uh, Emmanuel asked Nathan, um, you asked him how much boost he's running, and he said uh, 39, and you went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was lower for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, I was like, is it supposed to be lower than that? You're like, no, no, I, I did it. I just forgot. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> so much gear whining first. What a sleeper. And then second gear... I think I think traction control is overwhelmed. Maybe he turned it off. <laughs> Me or him? Maybe he turned it oh, off. He, you know what? Yeah. Based on what I've gotten <laughs> to know about Nate, I think he probably would. Yeah. <laughs> he went, oh no, I don't need that, and then he'll come back uh, in a month and go, I don't have any tires, Emmanuel. What happened? <laughs> what a freaking sleeper! This is a Trojan horse. If you put you know cheaper looking looking wheels on this because this has really nice wheels on it yeah you would surprise a lot of people on the highway and at the track uh quarter mile track i don't think this is quite ready for road course duty i think it's got jesus damn jeez it's got a lot <laughs> a lot more power than it does sway bar but in a rear <laughs> brake man but with this size tires it really grips up in third and uh -huh. really goes. And the turn in, I am I am really impressed with what this is doing in the corners with its stock <laughs> sway bars. And this, for the record, everybody, this is not a stock Civic Si. This is a base Civic hatch, 1.5 liter, yeah. 178 horsepower stock. I mean, he was telling me how much he paid. Right now, when we're talking. Because we're talking about the pro car prices, like yeah. he only paid twenty grand for this car new. <laughs> yeah, and that's almost, that's about as cheap as they get at that yeah. point. Um, I think maybe a Versa was slightly cheaper, but it didn't have a turbo on it. Yeah. And then, well, let's see. He paid twenty. Then he blew the engine up once. Oh yeah. Twice, yeah. once, and then he had it rebuilt again yeah. just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can really you can hear the induction. Uh -huh. um, it's not totally muted by the turbo at all, but it doesn't sound like there's a really loud exhaust out the back. It's just it's a stock type, stock, stock exhaust, a stock type R exhaust, and that so it for, actually bolts right on. And that's got enough flow. He doesn't need to yeah. open that up at all. Yep. Jeez, 
I, you know what? Does it have a diff in it? Oh, it has an LSD diff. It's got the yeah. LSD? Yeah. It does a pretty good it's job. It's got the SI one. I mean, let's see. Get, let's get on the gas a little too early here and see. Little scrub. That, this is pretty impressive. Man, is it, it really highlights how good the SI is. What, what can you get power-wise out of a stock SI with smart bolt-ons that you don't want to explode later? Uh, like 260. 260 wheels good. That is pretty strong. 260 wheel yeah. in a car that weighs this little. That would be a lot of fun. Or you can be someone like yourself or Nate. Yeah. And I, I mean, Nate's like the drug addict and I don't even want to use that reference. Like, <laughs> that, that makes you sound really bad. He is an addict. He, he's <laughs> more uh, the, the, to this stuff. Yeah. He's kind of, you're, you're the Tony Stark and he just shows up and like, can you build this? You're like, yeah, I can do that. Sure. This is wild. Wow, power delivery is really nice. I mean, once the power hits, it just pulls all the way to redline as yeah. expected, really hard. Jesus, shifting's great. Brakes are good. It is an SI shifter too, or a Type R one. It might be a Type R shifter. This, I, you know what? It's been too long since I yeah. drove. This feels more like SI. I, I, think, I, I think Type I, R has a little less. I think wiggle. it's a 2017 through 19 Type R one. Oh, Because okay. the 2021 was better. Oh, yeah. And, and then the new one is yeah. also amazing. Yeah, because um, the stock one is very rowy. Like it's it's even more than that. the SI. Yeah, the, the stock CTR. No, the, the stock. Uh, oh, the sport. Invest, yeah. yeah, it's probably made of rubber bands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was oh. a lot worse. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. This is wild. Um, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just like full of <laughs> adrenaline. What is, what is it that you like so much about Hondas? Why did you get into building really fast Hondas instead of? Um, Mustangs, anything else? Uh, you know, I, w I started with Subarus, um, and then I bought an STI. I kind of left a bad taste in my mouth over that car, but I still like them. It's just I when I went to the Hondas in 2007, I just saw, like, how much the engines, you know, were much better made. They took power a lot better, you know, power mods a lot better. It's just... I mean, you're starting a war right now. I know. I'm comments, sorry. I love Subarus, but... <laughs> yeah, it's just the engine design is just so far ahead. It's just a better, you know, to to start off from. The only downfall is front wheel drive. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. You could build some crazy Honda Pilot all wheel drive. What did we <laughs> just film? <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Well, if, but if somebody out there out there wants a really really fast, uh, well built front wheel drive car and also you do off-road stuff for yeah. uh for the honda trucks um hit up emmanuel and um hopefully nate is more respectful to this one <laughs> I, I, yeah he has been <laughs> yeah i think the other good thing to know is that even with all this power this car still gets about like 38 40 miles per gallon that's wild yeah so with gas, gas prices today i think it's Kind of a good trade-off still. It gets 38 miles per gallon yeah. with without E85, with, right? No, with, with ethanol. With, with ethanol? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. So that is incredible. This is a good sleeper. I mean, I'm pretty sure that those, this, obviously, you're going to get a lot less gas mileage making, you know, using the power, but <laughs> yeah. it's got eight injectors now. Yeah. It doesn't have the four that it did before, so. Yeah. But yeah. Th those only come on when you're, when you're above, like, 30 PSI. You have less food <laughs> if you eat the food. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. All right, man. Well, thank you for coming out again. All right, man. Time. Was, uh, cool. Your cars are always great. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening to the podcast, and we will see you later. And remember, always fight your tickets. Use code TST10 on the Off the Record app available in the Android and iOS store, or go to offtherecord.com slash TST.